Hello friends. Welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching part 4 of the sub series spanning a process from C Sharp application. In this part we will start a batch file as a process. Here in this video, we will cover uh, the batch file. So, using the batch file, we will perform the file copy operation from one location to another location. So, here we will specify the source path, and this will be the destination path. Copy will occur from source to destination when user clicks this uh, start button. In the previous video, we learned about the process class and using the process class, we saw how to start an executable file as a process. So we started notepad.exe as a process and when we explored the function start from the process class, we used two overloaded version. First we specified the exe, then we also looked at uh, specifying the exe as well as the path. So process info class. So this instance can be passed to the start method. We already saw two overloads of the start method. Now we are looking into the third one. I mean the third overload. You can pass process info to the start method. So process info class provides additional information about the process. So in this uh, video, we will see what kind of additional information we can provide with this uh, process info class. We will see this with an example. Below is the batch file and we will run it as a CASH process to copy file from one location to other location. In our sample application, we already saw there are two text boxes to mention the source and destination location of the file or folder. So the content of the batch file is simple. So we will move the folder location to G. So these two operation will move the root location to uh, G drive, then performs X copy operation. And here we pass, I mean, there are two arguments for this uh, uh, batch file. So X copy is uh, simply a DOS command. And this DOS command takes uh, two parameter percentage one denotes param1 and percentage 2 denotes param2. So these par two parameters for the batch file, we will send that from our c -sharp application. Alright, here if you see, we already looked at this piece of code, we have a member batch proc and the type is a process. Then in the button click, our form has a, a button, I mean two button, right, start button. One is at the uh, first section or first group box location that will start the notepad exe. The second start button will run the batch file. So here we can start batch click. So that means here we are handing the click event for the second button. And first we are checking source path should not be empty as well as the destination path should not be empty. So if either one is empty, then we will simply return from this uh, click event. So that's the only validation we are doing here. So we are not doing whether path is valid, all those stuff. So since it's uh, just a exploration purpose, I avoided all the path related validation. 
when you are implementing you have to check all the uh, valid path validation uh, before proceeding further from here all right so now here we are using the process info class and we are creating this instance and we name it as prac info then if you see here prac info file name we specify file name as a dtemp my copy dot bat so this is the batch file location so here we are simply stating what is the uh location of the executable we can execute exe as well as batch file here we specify the batch file name the same technique you can use to specify the exe location also all right here we specify the batch file location then we are making for prac info we are making use of the arguments member and here if you see we are passing uh, uh source and destination location from the uh text boxes there are two text boxes right there are two text boxes right so this one we are passing the source and here we are passing the destination file location and if you see the argument when we are passing it we are using the escape sequence so that means the arguments goes like this double quotes txt source path dot txt that means from the first text box we are specifying the source file location then here if you see um, we are putting a one more escape sequence so we are enclosing the source file location with a double quote then here there will be a blank space so this one is the blank space so let me specify that with b blank space after that we are opening the double quotes again we pass a destination path from our second text box then we are closing that so this double quotes are required because sometimes a path may have uh, a blank space path may also have a blank space right so for example c drive program files program is a void blank space files so in that case since we are going to pass this command line argument to the x copy that's the batch file right here if you see x copy percentage 1 blank space percentage 2 and here we want to specify everything with a double quote why because das thinks that uh, blank space is the termination of first argument so to avoid that only here we are forming these uh, double quotes all right now we have file name ms i mean my copy dot bat that's the batch file we specified that then we are passing arguments to the batch file so this argument will get substituted when we make a call to um uh, the x copy here if you see arguments this will be the percentage 1 percentage 1 this will be percentage 2 so that's how it will get substituted why because there is a blank space in between so at run time the command line information command line information for uh, my copy dot bat will be processed like this then percentage 1 percentage 2 will be get substituted here so this is how the information is flowing from our c sharp application to the batch file all right once all this is done here we are simply making call to process dot start and we are passing this a proc info proc info we already constructed and we specified what is the process name and we also specified what are all the arguments for the process here the process is not actually x copy because x copy is inside our batch file so here the process is my copy dot bat 
simply i provided g colon cd backslash and run x copy from j colon root so this is just for a demonstration purpose and you can do uh, any kind of a dash commands here and then uh, you can pass arguments like this using the uh, process info arguments uh, member so now it's time to go to the demo so here you can see d temp my copy dot bat here you can see g c d x copy percentage one and percentage two so we already created the x copy dot bat now we will go to our example here i'm going to the design view we already implemented the start button so click now we will go ahead and implement start button so click event i mean the second start button so click event we already saw the code explanation in the powerpoint slide so process info arguments and this one is the file name and here we are calling the start method by passing this process info here all right so in c temp i just copied some of the fonts from my system so that the copy operation will be uh, somewhat bigger and we will clear content in temp2 so now we will go ahead and run this so here i am specifying c drive temp from here copy all the content of this temp folder to d drive temp2 now if i click start let me check the path once again d temp my copy dot bat d temp my copy dot bat all right let me click the start button and let me open d temp and from here i will click the start so that you can see the copy operation as well as the pop up of uh, the ms dos console window if copy is not quick enough and if i seen it invoked our batch file it invoked ms dos command also and it copied all the content here now let me delete this from d temp and you can see how ms dos is popping up if you see the copy is going on and ms dos is burst So that's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.